Hello, my name is Alex with Apex Tutorials and today we're going to be taking a deeper look at the project settings for a Jira project. Please make sure you're subscribed and make sure you drop a like and a comment if you have any questions. Any of the information that is important to this video is going to be in the description and thank you for joining and let's get started. Let's go to connection. Now this is a beta thing. So let's check this out because I actually haven't seen this. So welcome to connections. We're building this page to easily connect and manage all the data flowing in your project from other tools it's currently in beta and we'll be updating it regularly. So this really does now kind of piggyback to that other thing I was talking about, about the CICD and your ops genie. So not going to spend too much time here. Cause again, it's a beta feature it just came out. This is the first time I'm seeing this connections here. Definitely going to be exploring it in a lot more detail in a future video, but for the purpose of this, right? 99% of whatever you're going to be doing as a Jira project administrator, this wouldn't apply, right? I've been doing Jira for five years. This feature just came out and I have yet to see any team to use it. So we're not gonna spend so much time. And the last thing here before we wrap up this specific video is we're going to be talking about summary. So the summary here is a great place for you to kind of just see an overall like configuration of your Jira project. This is a great place for you to at a high level, just check and see what's going on, right? You'll be able to do your versions, your components from here, which are powerful. You can see the different roles that you have. You can see the your permission scheme. You're going to be able to see all of this in detail on the left pane, but this is kind of like just a high level overview of it all. Where I do come here quite a bit is when I am connecting my development tools, or configuring project links. So when we configure Jira to talk with Confluence, we're going to come in here and set that application link. If you have other external tools such as like Miro or there's a bunch of different like third party tools that integrate with Jira, sometimes you have to come in and configure project links. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to how much into how much detail I'm going to be providing those in future videos, but we'll explore it depending on how what's in the comment section, but we'll, we'll be definitely talking about that and seeing what, what this is all about with respect to those application links. But anyways, this is pretty much again, just a very high level. Some of these things, some of these configurations like screens and fields and workflows, you're going to have to be a site level administrator, but I am going to show you at least the very limited access or view or, or visibility that you have as a project administrator in the next video. So if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed, make sure you like this video, drop a comment with any questions that you have. Let me know if you liked this video. Let me know if you didn't like this video. Let me know if I can improve anything. I'm more than happy to take your constructive feedback and help improve my videos. So that's going to be it for this video. In the next video, we're going to talk about issue types layout. Then we're going to make a video on workflow screens and fields, and then components and ops genie. And then we're going to end it with the rest of the stuff. So again, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and if you need help with any of this, I'm actually a for hire consultant, right? This is what I specialize in. I do this day in and day out. And so, in the description of this video, you'll see the link to my website and you'll be able to hire me, right? So all of my contact information is in, going to be in that website. So if you want help, right, if you just need a little bit of guidance, most clients do one or two hours. Some of them do 20 to 40 hour engagements, right? It just depends on the level of help that you need. But if you just need a little walkthrough about maybe you're just stuck somewhere, you're not 100% sure, a couple of hours here, definitely an option. So make sure you check it out in the description and you'll be able to find everything you need to hire me. So. Anyways, thank you very much. I will see you in the next video.